All right, ladies and gentlemen. Shark Racing and my guys are working hard to finish getting the 1T and the 1S all ready to roll for our final night of the weekend in the Pacific Northwest here at the Grays Harbor Raceway competing against the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series. But here's a look at the racing surface before cars get on track soon. You can see they're watering it now, just prepping it for the big outlaw show tonight. For some reason, when 410s roll into town, Grays Harbor just seems like a whole new track. Typically with most classes here, you're kind of running from the bottom to the middle. It doesn't really get much higher, but when 410s roll into town and you got 900 horsepower, even with a, you know, a lack of banking on the very top, we still find a way to get up there. And it really does put on a good show. If tonight goes to plan, I think it's gonna start out fast you know, qualifying's gonna be hammered down, then the heat races will be a little bit slicker, you're gonna have an opportunity to move around, and then dash, B main, A main event, I think you might be using anywhere, you know, between 70 and 80% of the track. And if that happens, it's gonna be technical, it's gonna be tough to be fast, but it's gonna put on a good show, and it's gonna be a driver's track where the best driver is gonna win with the best setup and the best right foot, because you're gonna have to have good throttle control. All right, we're gonna be rolling into it, uh, here soon with some engine heat, then we'll be right into hot laps and qualifying to get everything underway. Up next, returning to Grace Harbor Raceway as a full-time World of Outlaws competitor from Jacksonville, Oregon. In the Pell's Tire Service, low E-reflective insulation, Newman's Racing Engine, Shark Racing 1T. Here's Tanner Holmes. Tanner Holmes in the 1T. Tanner finished 20th in last year's feature here, a 14th place run in 2021, his best in two. Grays Harbor Raceway World of Outlaw starts. Slap number one for Tanner Holmes. Goes in the books 11th quick at a 13, 493, 13493. Finished third here in King of the West action on June 18th. Four wins this year in 360 sprint car competition. Second lap for Tanner Holmes is a 13.520. First lap better at 13.493. So our night is underway here at the Grace Harbor Raceway. Ended up going out right in the middle and glad we didn't go out any later because uh, the track just continuously got slower and slower and slower. Quick time was a 12.9 and the cars that went out at the end were in the 14 second bracket. That is a huge fall off so glad that we at least drew okay. Ended up 12th quick out of 31 410s. So that's gonna start us now in row two of our heat race. We really just gotta get going. Do you have our heat? That's got the heat. So my heat's Donnie, Kofoid, Robbie Price, me, Macedo, Casey Kane, Fadden. Transfer six. Top six transfer, so a good heat. We just gotta really get rolling on the start. Um, I felt happy with my car for the most part. I wasn't sure just because, you know, when, when the track's constantly changing and you know, you don't just jump right up to the top. It's hard to feel great, but there's a lot of factors in this game. And one of them is literally just, I mean, when, when you go out, if you go out earlier, you get a better track, you can run a faster lap. That's kind of just how it rolls. But our overall balance was close. We're going to keep uh, working on tightening up and just trying to get good drive, keep the car stable. And like I said, get through this heat race coming from row two. Every spot we move forward will help us improve our A main event starting position.
So heat race is complete. Luckily we uh, got a good start and moved from fourth to third going into turn one and then stayed there the whole race right behind Donnie and Kofoid who was outside pole. He kind of jumped out front and started setting the pace for all of us. Uh, I felt good behind Donnie. I was kind of closer early than I, than I was late and I think maybe if I could have made a lap or two better early on, I could have been in position to try to make, you know, make work of him and potentially get in the dash. But, you know, e easier, you know, we always, our, our saying is hindsight's always, uh, always the way to go afterwards. But overall, car felt good. I think we need a little work in three and four and then I need to change up my line in one and two just because I got caught running a little low in one and two trying to make more of a middle where I should have been buried. I think I could have carried more speed. Three and four, I just, you know, I think everyone, everyone's struggle is getting down the front stretch and getting off the corner and pointing off and driving straight. So that's what, uh, you know, that's that's where we need to be just a tiny bit better. And then there at the end, Macedo slid by us and luckily I turned down and got the spot back, but almost lost, um, you know, what is a couple starting spots in the feature. So glad we, you know, put it all together and we'll make work of it and uh, now have a top 10 spot going into this 30 lap A. Well, here's a look at the surface before 30 laps tonight with the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series in Elma. When the sun was out, it went away in a hurry. Then the sun went down, it's cooling off. It's actually not been very warm all day, but you can see uh, how it's you know a little narrower. Well, they went out, they tilled the bottom, they tilled the top, and I still think it's gonna head back the direction it was. It just might take the feature, which is you know not bad. I, I don't think it's a bad thing if the track changes. It's gonna start out a little bit faster. You know, I think we've been in the high 12s, low 13 second bracket as they just ran the dash and the B main. And then it's just gonna get slicker and slower and put on a good show. The top is, you know, if you if you run up there, you got to put your right rear in this color change. And if you run the bottom, you got to charge it, but you also got to slow down enough to hit the grip and just kind of carry momentum, keep your car straight and the tires underneath you. So both lines are technical and both ends are a little bit different. We'll kind of see what happens. And uh, the 1T is going to be rolling off from ninth here for a standard $10,000 twin outlaw show. Got good cars ahead of us, good cars behind us. You know the drill. We just got to be on it, get a good start and try to work on attacking forward.
All right, so our night's over at Grace Harbor. I have a fan that wants to be in the video that's been it every year here at Grace Harbor. What's your name, bud? Cedric. Cedric, what do you race? Um, I'm about to get um, in a box truck. I'm about to get in a bandolero. He's about to get in a bandolero, and he's an outlaw cart kid. Outlaw carts are the way to go coming up. You guys know I always tell you that, and that's what I came from. But we're going to recap tonight. Kind of a disappointing finish. Uh, I don't know, just really struggled throughout the feature. But we'll talk more about it here in a minute and check out the racetrack. Well, I didn't even make it up here in time. They shut the lights off on me. What ended up being exactly what I predicted here at Grace Harbor. More just disappointed for my team and disappointed in myself a little bit. I, I felt like the 1T was actually pretty solid. My guys gave me a good car. I just simply did not execute. I just, I just don't run a great 30 lap race. That's where Grace Harbor is really tricky. And tonight, you know, the surface was solid, but it was a little bit more top dominant. All the restarts throughout the race, I got stuck on the inside, that didn't help. And I just kind of struggled when I was moving around and especially on restarts and when momentum shifted, like I just always found myself, like I was trying to get to the point where I could attack, but I never really got there. I always was kind of defending and just didn't put my laps together super consistently. And that sucks. Like I, I think if the race goes different and you know, maybe if I could have got rolling earlier, I could have ran a couple spots up, but I don't know. I just, you know, I need to watch it back and really think about it. And it, I think I might've just had one of those days where I just, you know, sometimes you're just a better race car driver than others. Um, and some days you're not. And so I just felt like, you know, maybe there I, I, um, you know, I just, I just didn't run a good race. Like I said, anyway, big thank you to Bobby Allen and shark racing. Glad the cars in one piece. And we checked off another night and, you know, there was some positives to it. I think we had decent qualifying speed, went forward in our heat. You know, I think if I could do it over again, I would have tried to maybe get just a little harder for that dash spot. That would have also could have been the difference in running farther up front. And then just got to clean up some things on my end for a, for a 30 lap race and got to work in the slick. That's just where. In the 410 stuff, as a driver, I still need to work on it. A lot of it's throttle points and you know how you're turning the wheel and where you're putting the car to make speed. Like There's so much to it. And at the same time, you also try not to overthink it because you can't overcomplicate it. Sometimes it's like go out there and just drive the dang car. Uh, so I get caught in the middle. But anyway, long story short, kind of a disappointing deal, but got the car you know, rolled in the trailer and we got some more experience and another night under our belts working together. So that's gonna conclude the Northwest Swing with the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series. The great part is we still have a bunch of shows left in 2023 and we're heading now down to uh, California. So a couple more tracks that I have some laps at and think that we can put together some good showings with the greatest show on dirt. Big thanks to Tyler, Bobby, Carly helped, Blaine this weekend. Those are my crew guys and everyone on Shark Racing and on the 1T. Then also a big shout out to DMI, Smith Titanium, Lowy, and Pell's Tire Service for their support. I'm very thankful for the, you know, for the spot that I'm in and definitely live in the dream. It's just, it's tough out here technically, you know, on the tour and racing with the best guys in the world. And I have to remember that, but at the same time, like I'm just as hungry and want to win and want to be the best I can be and want to qualify good and go through our heats easily and make those dashes and, you know, consistently start running better and farther up front. I think our speed's there. Driver's got to work on some things and we'll just completely keep working on the, the whole package. All right, see you guys in the next one. Deuces.